Hi everyone, so I have a friend, he comes from Sri Lanka and sometimes uh, we talk about uh, his home country and um, yesterday I was uh, walking and suddenly say Hi, hey, hey, you know that uh, coconut is the most uh, common um, food used in Sri Lanka but uh, the most curious thing that he said was uh, but I was low, it could be really dangerous when you eat coconut you can't uh, toss uh, the shell uh, on the ground like this. If the police uh, see this, uh, you have to pay. That could be a uh, real danger for you, for your health, and for everyone around you. I was like, that's just a coconut. Why? Because uh, when in Sri Lanka it becomes raining and uh, it rains, the coconut shell gets filled with water and from that water it becomes a perfect uh, incubator for uh, mosquitoes larvas so for a simple coconut shell you get a lot of mosquitoes the problem of mosquitoes in Sri Lanka but uh, in general in Africa and Asia is that uh, mosquitoes are us for a lot of really dangerous sometimes deadly uh, disease. Some diseases as malaria, dengue, the yellow fever and the Zika fever are the most infamous one. And um, that's a really big problem. The World Health Organization have reported that every year half of the global population is under the risk of malaria. And every year 429 million of people die for malaria. So, the most uh, natural idea that comes next is why we don't kill them all. I mean, we are human and sadly, after all, we are really good at killing other animals. But first, let's know better how our enemy. Mosquitoes have been around since uh, when uh, the dinosaurs were still walking on Earth. We can find uh, a lot of ancient mosquitoes in uh, amber. Uh, they are really tough to kill and they survived and evolved many times during all these uh, years. Recently, in 1950 and 1960, some attempts of killing mosquitoes have been already made in South America. They used the tons and tons of DDT to kill all mosquitoes. It was uh, quite a success because uh, they seemed to disappear for some time, but after that, other mosquitoes come uh, back from Africa and Asia using uh, boats. In 2007, at least 3.95 tons of DDT have been sprayed for mosquitoes control. The problem of DDT is uh, the chemical substance is not only a toxin for mosquitoes, but also for other insects, maybe someone that we like, like um, bees or butterflies, peaceful to humans. And also DDT, can remind, is always uh, a poison that goes in the water supply that humans drink, in the food uh, corpse that we grow, and of course in the air, the air we breathe. Killing mosquitoes is a problem. Other than chemical warfare, there are other options. A British company in 2015 called Oxitec have created a modified mosquito. The mosquito have a gene that was implanted in male mosquitoes. The gene prevent the mosquito to become an adult. So when the mosquitoes mate in the wild with the female mosquitoes, all the offspring couldn't reach the adult stage. So it was like a time bomb in the mosquitoes DNA. The modified uh, mosquitoes have been released in the Cayman Island, uh, about uh, 3000 mosquitoes, and it was uh, quite effective. About 92% uh, of the total amount of mosquitoes died. There is another interesting way to combat mosquitoes. Scientists implant inside the mosquitoes a bacteria. This bacteria kills the malaria virus inside the mosquito. The fact is that malaria itself is a virus that lives inside the mosquito's stomach. When you get bited by a mosquito, the virus don't come from your blood that goes inside the mosquito. The mosquitoes, in general, when they bat you, they inject saliva that contains painkillers and anticoagulant. Saliva contains malaria itself. To kill malaria inside the mosquito, stomach, they use a bacteria. The problem with this technique was that bacteria with viruses could create a super virus and we don't want this. This could be potentially a big problem. So, even if we can kill all these mosquitoes, what we can do next? There is another crucial point. Mosquitoes are billion on Earth. 
There are around 3,500 types of mosquitoes, but the one who bites uh, humans are just around uh, 30 species. Let's say that uh, our biggest enemies are two species of mosquitoes. The Aedes aegypti, that the first carrier and host for yellow fever, Zika and Dengue. And they are, that are the most uh, deadliest disease. The second species that is the biggest problem for humans is the Amphilis gambi, that is the, the first host for malaria. After that, uh, we can imagine to kill all the mosquitoes. For one moment, we can say that uh, double snap, all mosquitoes are gone. What will happen next? For the nature, that will be a big problem. Mosquitoes are the first food source for many species, like fishes, frogs, bats, and birds. Many of them, uh, suddenly, uh, when they go out finding food, uh, they won't uh, find any more mosquitoes, but unlikely, animals are not smart enough to say, hmm, there are no mosquitoes, let's go elsewhere, let's order a pizza. They can't. They must adapt, but if all mosquitoes suddenly disappear, other animals won't have the time to adapt and simply they will probably die. So many questions are still open about uh, this fact. Scientists say that there are too many factors that could change the equation. Some really interesting uh, aspects about mosquitoes in the environment are founded uh, about the mosquitoes in Antarctic and polar zone. In fact, uh, during uh, hot season, enormous cloud of mosquitoes move around and they are first food source for migratory birds. Scientists say that probably the 50% of migratory birds will die with the disappearing of mosquitoes. After that we can see that mosquitoes are not only harmful for us. The Oslo provide, let's say, a natural help for humans. In fact mosquitoes are pollinators. They pollinate uh, some plants uh, like uh, flowers, but also there are mosquitoes that pollinate plants that are more important for us, like the cocoa plant. A scientist says that if all the mosquitoes will disappear, humans will have less chocolate. There are a lot of things to say, there are a lot of still open questions, but in the end there is a big question point. Is it worth for the, all the earth to kill all mosquitoes because they just harm humans? What will be for all the other species that will die because of disappearing of mosquitoes? What if we can find a cure for only the disease that they carry without killing all mosquitoes? Thank you.